All right, good evening everybody. In this video, we're gonna take a look at our current roster, how it's shaped up, how it looks, where the salaries are, and we're gonna even take a glimpse into next year. Coming up. Okay, I figure it's time we take a look at the, the numbers, see where we're at. For those of you that don't follow this closely, this will give you a glimpse of what's going on. And uh, we have to look at the money, you know? I mean, the money is important. And are we finished? Are we finished? There is no way to know. <laughs> so don't ask me. All right, let's take, uh, I got four clips. One will be um, the, the money right now and the roster size. Here we go. And there is your Buffalo Sabres on paper, folks. The projected cap hit as we speak this minute is 62.1. Uh, the uh, LTAR used, of course, zero, and our projected cap space at the moment, 20.3. Yeah, if you look, the roster size, 21 out of 23. There'll still be two more to fill up the roster. We'll have two more added on there, of course. And the contracts, that'll balloon up probably a few. Not, uh, I wouldn't say too many. I would say that will probably balloon up to about 43, 44 as the year progresses. And of course the reserve list is at 66 as we speak. Now, we will take a look, okay, at exactly what our roster looks like this very minute as we speak. Here it is. Okay, so you see in 2022-2023 for next season, you see there's no outstanding contracts. We're done there. We got six players making less than a million right now. But I would pay very close attention who those players are. We have Dylan Cousins, Peyton Krebs, Jack Quinn, Asplin you can add on there. He should be a million dollar player really. And uh, then you got uh, Matea Samuelson and Owen Power. Down the line, goaltending looks a little more healthy, eh guys? It does, now that Comrie's there. And if you look at our blue line, our blue line now consists of Darlene, Lubushkin, Yokiharu, Bryson, Samuelson, and Power. Not too shabby. We got to get one more in there. Perhaps two, but I'm, I'm going to guess it's going to be one. And let, uh, if you look at the forwards, of course, pretty much all the names there, we, we're, we're not surprised. Skinner, Ocposo, Tuck, Olofsson, Middlestat, Gergensens, Henestroza. Bjork, I could see us still moving. Thompson, Cousins, Krebs, Quinn, Asplund. So there it is. That is your version of the Buffalo Sabres for next season. So far, so far, I do say so far. Okay, now, this is what I wanna to touch on guys, okay? Cause a lot of folks are gonna be frustrated. We didn't make more of a splash or whatever it is you think we should have got. I, I, I didn't, I, you guys know, I, I don't want to be stupid with the money because this is why. I'm going to show you right here. Let's take a look at this and then we'll, uh, we'll come back to it. We're going to go back to the same clip. Here we go. Let's look at next year, okay? This is why and the year after, guys, but let's look at next year, 2023-2024. Ocposo unrestricted. We'll get him at a very friendly price, guys. I don't think Akposa is gonna try and gouge us if he plays another year or two in Buffalo. My guess, it'll be something like one and a half, one. You know, I, I can't see Akposo breaking, <laughs> breaking the bank. Then we got Gergensen's. Will he still be around? Probably, because he'll only be 29 when he's unrestricted. We might let him walk, I don't know. I, I'm not too sure. Uh, my guess is he'll wanna finish his career in Buffalo. Henestroza, depends what he does this year, and, and we'll keep giving him one-year deals as he keeps producing. If he does another decent season, we'll sign him again. But this is where it gets tricky, guys. Now, Bjork, unrestricted, not a problem there. He probably would make less, honestly. Tage Thompson, that's the big one, folks. That's the big one. You know, that is absolutely the big one right there. And then you got uh, Dylan Cousins, another big contract. Another one, depending what he does this year, I think Dylan's gonna have a good season, so that could cost us. 
Uh, Asplund will probably be right around the same money if we keep him. If we keep him, and I can't see us really being anxious to move him if he's only 24. It's not like he's 32 or 33. Down the list, Matea Samuelson will cost. I'm guessing that's a $4 million contract right there. What I seen last year, guys, and I know it wasn't a huge sample, it's one year, but my goodness, he really is emerging. And Craig Anderson, I am positive, will wrap up a very, very good career uh, next summer. So what does that mean? Well, let's take a look, okay? Okay, check this out. All right, so for roster size, right now, of course, we're at 21. Next year, we're at 12, as you see. Standard player contracts, we'll, we have 39. Next year, we'll have 19. You know, that doesn't mean we won't have a bunch more sign, of course, by then. But I'm just saying, as it stands right now. Average age, a little younger next year. Makes sense. Roster signing bonuses, don't pay much attention to that. That doesn't really matter. Roster and buried cap. Eh, this is the number, guys. This is the number. <laughs> All right, so take a look. We got uh, right now 61.3. If you look, 38.5 committed to 12 players. And if you look down, further down, the projected cap, it is that, of course. And then if you look down, uh, uh, salary cap. Uh, and if you look, it's funny because our, our projected cap is a little bit more, I should say for this year, 62-1, of course. But take a look next year. So let's say, let's just use the 38-5 for now, okay, for this, for this video. We got 12 guys locked. That means we gotta get 11 guys locked in with that 44.9 million. And that's, everybody's saying, well, that's easy to do. Yes, it is. Sure it is. Very easy to do. Very easy to lock 11 guys in with 45 million bucks, but I want to turn your, uh, we're going to go back to the, that clip again of the roster. Here it is. Let's look two years down the line, guys. Victor Olofsson, Casey Middlestat, Dylan Cousins. Then, guys, look at the blue line. Darlene, Labushkin, Yoki Haru, Bryson, Owen Power. All will need contracts, and of course, Eric Comrie, not to mention as well. But you get where I'm coming from. That's the problem. So you lock in too much, and, 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 and next summer, if you lock in too much, what do you do about this, right? We're going to have to keep cap space open for the next two years, is what I'm trying to get at with you guys. We need cap space open for next summer and the summer after. After that, we're in good shape. After that, we're in good shape. You know, I mean, there's not much else we can do about that, guys. So, okay, so you see we have, um, we have 12 players under contract for next year. It says standard player contracts, 19. Let's not forget this. Check this clip. Let's not forget these guys, because these guys, we're not gonna just burn all their entry level years, guys. This is where Drafting is important, so important, okay? Because as your contracts get bigger and bigger, you got to bring the little ones in with more and more talent, if possible. And these will be the seven guys. If you look at the seven guys under contract for next year, okay? Well, not, not, uh, not this year, the year after I'm talking, okay? Let's pretend, okay, that next summer, let's just pretend we're in next summer. We got Isaac Rosen, Josh Bloom, Oliver Nadeau, J.J. Paterka, who I'm sure will be on the team this year. We're not going to burn two entry-level years in the minors. Uh, Philip Setterquist and Brandon Byro. Let's not forget him either. I know he's 24, but still, these guys are under contract. Then you look, defense, we have nobody lined up under contract. You see what I'm saying? Now, Laxanen, we've got to, we definitely, ha we're going to have to give him a bump for sure. We've got to keep Laxanen in, in the fold. And Fitzgerald in the fold. We've got to keep these, there's certain guys we've got to keep. And of course, UPL's down there, he's needing a contract very soon as well. So this is where our numbers are at. So if you're wondering why, okay, when we have 
20 million dollars open and we're not using it, that's why. Okay, we can't sacrifice names like this because we want to go score a big ticket. We just can't. I mean, next year, you know, we've got three unrestricted, four unrestricted. Well, I'm not going to count Anderson. That doesn't count. But we got five restricted, three unrestricted. The next year after, we have three unrestricted and f uh, six restricted. This is, this is where, this is what Adams is looking at, guys. This is what he's looking at. This is, this is his plan. He said that they're not going to do, they're not going to fast forward things, okay? But I also guarantee they're not going to waste entry-level deals in the minors. They didn't give Isaac Rosen. I don't think they gave Isaac Rosen. And the kid looks bigger this year. I was watching him in an interview. His head, everything. He looks, he looks bigger and stronger this year. This kid, they're not going to just give him an entry-level deal. So this guy eats up all his entry-level years and comes in needing a contract before he even plays in an NHL game. Wouldn't make any sense, right? You can burn one year. I, I say it's a no-no to burn two. You don't burn two. So this year, we will see. We'll see who's doing what and if any of these kids get time, if they get time in the AHL. My guess is a guy like Rosen probably won't. You know, he might, he might not. I, I'm not sure what the plan is. I am not absolutely sure what they're going to do. with. Uh, uh, I, if I'm right, there's, um, there's a rule where I believe that Rosen isn't even allowed there yet, if I'm right, you know, because he was drafted from Sweden. So but when you're drafted from certain leagues, and, and it's weird. The rules are weird. They're all over the place. I don't know all of them. And I really can't find a website that knows all of these rules. So it's like, you know, you got to kind of get secondhand news along the way. Anyway, guys, the whole point is 20 million open. Should we mess around with it? No, absolutely no. Our future depends on us not to mess with it. You know, look, we're paying about the same thing we did last year. If you consider the big salary that we're taking on with Bishop, right? We're kind of doing the same thing again, but the team looks better. The team's older. You know, this is, this is good management when you're spending the same thing for kind of a, it should be a better product, but the division got more competitive. That's a little concerning. We'll talk about that, guys, in the next video. We're going to go over some free agents. See you there.